Hello there, Mark Cunningham here. And in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can post unscheduled pay runs in Xero. So these are pay runs that are done outside of your usual schedule. So you might have a weekly or monthly schedule, for example, and these are pay runs that are outside of that schedule. And they're useful for a number of reasons. Firstly, for processing financial payroll adjustments. So there'll be adjustments to people's actual pay or their tax, etc. And they're also useful for processing adjustments to other things like their annual leave balance or sick leave balance. So let's go to zero now and we'll take a look firstly at how to process an unscheduled pay run. And then we'll have a look at a few things that you can do with it. So to get there, you just go to payroll and pay employees. And as the name suggests, an unscheduled pay run is a pay run that you will process that's not part of the usual schedule. So you can see here in the demo company, we've got weekly pay runs and we've also got fortnightly pay runs. But if you wanted to process a pay run for some reason outside of that schedule, then you would go ahead and do an unscheduled pay run. So in this lesson, I'm going to show you how, how to do that. And I'm going to show you a few things that you can do with it. Okay, so in order to do it, you just need to click on add pay run. And we're going to use the weekly calendar because there's already a draft up here for the fortnightly one. So we can't have a second draft there. So we'll just click on add pay run. And then what you need to do is just select unscheduled pay run here. Now, if we just choose weekly there, and you get to choose the current financial year there as well, there's only one option there. What you need to do down in this next box, you can see it says there, select unscheduled pay period. So what you need to do is go in and select which period you want to use. And the reason that there's different options here is because you might have different employees working for you at different times of the year. So you need to pick the pay run that's going to contain the employees that you want to actually pay or do something with. So what I'll do for this one is I'll just pick the week ending the 14th of May and hit next. Okay, so that's brought up two employees here. They're grayed out at the moment. And what I mean uh, from what I was saying before is that if we selected something, say a couple of months um, earlier than this, we might have a different list of employees here. So you just got to make sure you pick the pay run that's most appropriate to what you want to do. So what we'll do is we'll add Odette into the pay run here. So what you've got to do is you've got to come over here to this circle and just click on it. And then it will come up with a green tick like that. And you can see it's not grayed out anymore. So what we're going to do is we're not going to pay them their full pay for that week. We're just going to assume that we forgot to pay them a little bit of overtime from say a previous week and we just want to make up for it in this unscheduled pay run. So if we click in there, okay, we get her usual um, weekly pay template. And from here we can just make our adjustments. So we don't want to pay her 35 ordinary hours. So if we just click on the little cross there and just delete that, then you can see a bunch of other things also zeroed out through there. So we'll add an earnings line and we'll just pick say that overtime one there. Okay. And we'll just put in some hours and a rate. Okay. So I've just put in 10 hours and $25 an hour. So it's calculated a bit of um, pay on there. It's also taken off a bit of tax, which is fine. This one is actually exempt from super, so nothing's come up there, but that's fine. This is just an example. We don't need to make everything exactly accurate. So if everything else there is fine and what you want to leave in there, you can just leave it in. If there's something that you want to take out, you just need to click on the uh, little cross there and it will take it out. So once you've made your adjustments, just click on save and then just go back uh, via the breadcrumb link up here. Okay, and then we're back to the main screen for this particular unscheduled pay run. So the other thing I wanted to show you is that you don't just use unscheduled pay runs for financial adjustments. You can also adjust leave. So if we go into Tracy, we'll just include her in it as well. 
and we'll come into the pay template and you can see there's actually no financial information in there anyway, so that's fine. But let's just say we actually owed her a couple of hours of leave that for some reason didn't get accrued. We can add it into here. So we'll make it annual leave. So we'll just delete those leave accruals there and we'll click on add leave line. And then we can pick annual leave. And let's just say, for example, we owed her five hours of leave that didn't accrue. We can put it in there and we'll just hit save. Okay. And now when we post this pay run, it will add five hours of leave accrual to her uh, leave accrual balance. So she will have that available to her to be able to take annual leave. So that's another type of adjustment um, that you can do in here. So let's just click on the breadcrumb again. Okay, so we get back to the main screen here and you can see it doesn't actually really show anything here to indicate that we're giving her that leave, but it will go through when we post the pay run. Okay, so when you're happy with everything, just like a normal pay run, you can just click on post. And that will go through and post that pay run just like any normal scheduled pay run. So you can just go through and check your reports and make sure everything's all right. Okay, so that's how you can create and post unscheduled pay runs in Xero.